Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury and today I'm on the Paul Pluto channel doing a paid review. This one here is for Muhammad and this is a super super duper collection and I've kind of shied off from doing this collection and you might say why Arch why would you shy off and I just wasn't in the right mood. I wasn't in the right mood because I really wanted to do this this collection well. I wanted to give my, my full attention to it. And I just <laughs> I just didn't think I was in the right mood to do it. So I kind of waited a few days and that's that's why it, it took a little bit longer to get it out. But I I hope you understand the reasons for that. So it's by no means, it's by no means a reflection on his collection there. I, I think it's a beautiful collection. I think it's a beautiful collection. I think it's a, um, it's a really special collection. He's even got watches for his 17 year old daughter, not to mention his wife. So it is, it is quite a, um, it's quite a collection. And I, I wanted to, without further ado, let's review this. And okay, so, so, so firstly, quick wristwatch check. What am I wearing? I'm wearing my Milgauss Z Blue. Absolutely love this watch. It is a cool, cool watch. Okay, hi Archie, I hope everything is going great with you. Please refer to me as MS Fan. I'm an engineer in my mid-40s. This is my third collection review and I'd like to know your opinion of the additional pieces that I added. Uh, my, He's also got his wife's collection and he's got a collection for his 17-year-old daughter. My first r review was a year ago, 20A56. And you advised me to ditch the garbage, so I did. The second one was during your live stream five days ago, but was missing the ladies' watches. Okay, so let, let's let's have a talk. Let's have a look at the main the main collection that we are talking about here. So, firstly, we've got a AP Royal Oak. It's a fifteen five hundred steel uh, with the black dial. We've got a Rolex Daytona uh, 2013 black dial. That's a 116520. 116520. That's the pre ceramic. We've then got a Rolex GMT Batgirl, the Bruce Wayne. Uh, it's a 126710 BLNR. We've then got a Rolex Submarina two-tone, reference 116613BKSO. Then we have got a Rolex Submariner Ceramic 116610, that's the 40 mil. We've got a Rolex Explorer 1. 39 mil 214270. Then we've got a Rolex Datejust 41 mil with rhodium dial, reference 126334. We've got a Rolex Datejust 2 2017 with a blue dial, 116300. Then we've got a Rolex Datejust 2 2015 with a black dial. 116300, same reference as the blue one. Then we've got a Tudor Black Bay 41 blue dial, uh, reference 79540. We've got a Tag Heuer uh, Monaco Calibre 11. And we've got a Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Uh, 311.30.42.30.01.006. So that's that's the the men's 
collection there. So, um, uh, then he's got his, his wife's collection. What's in the wife's, the wife's collection? Very good question indeed. The wife's collection, she's got a Rolex Datejust 31 floral. Uh, 178274. We've got a Rolex Datejust 31 two tone with a green dial. 278273. And it's got the Roman uh, 6. Uh, and then we actually, it's Romans with the, is that a diamond? I, I'm just trying to look at that. Just hang on. Let me have a look at that there. Is that. Yes, Diamond 6. And then we. she's also got a Rolex Air King 34mm Blue. This is the Harley Davidson version. 114200. So, uh, an absolute cracker three-piece collection. The daughter, 17-year-old daughter, this lucky girl... Two watches. She's got a Rolex Datejust 34mm pink, the salmon dial, 115200, and a Oyster Perpetual 31177200. So uh, there's absolutely some some um, some amazing pieces there. Uh, now he's got a few questions. Before we go into the questions, let's just go through these collections. I just want to uh, talk about what do I think of these collections here. So, so I got to tell you, uh, I do like it. One thing I like about it is we've gone for steel stunners. We don't have, um, we don't have a lot of gold. The only gold we've got is in a two-tone Submariner, which is is great and we've also got a white gold bezel on one of the date justs but I actually love it as a steel collection I gotta be totally honest with you I think steel is fantastic let's go through these pieces here so <coughs> firstly the Royal Oak 15500 absolutely stunner Absolutely stunning. That is probably the, the Horterology piece. It's the Big Bucks piece. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece. We've got the Daytona. The Daytona. The That's probably my favourite Daytona. I think the ceramics are a little bit overrated. Uh, I think the... Um, i got to be honest with you. The black dial with the steel bezel is probably my pick great piece uh so i'd i'd definitely say that's a winner winner chicken dinner we've got the the bat girl the bruce wayne yes yes you can't that is just a magic gmt and then we've got the two-tone submariner and i like the fact that it's the black dial just a little bit more discreet. Then moving right along, not to be shamed, we've got a, a date sub in steel, which I think is very, very iconic. I don't think it matters you've got a 40 or a 41. Beautiful. The ceramic submariner. We've got the 39mm Explorer 1. That has become extremely hot now that it was discontinued uh, by Rolex. So that's that's fantastic to have that. The Datejust 41 with the rhodium dial. That's got the white gold bezel. Absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the Datejust 2 with the blue dial. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a Datejust 2 with a black dial. Absolutely beautiful. We have got the Tudor Black Bay 41. Beautiful. Tag Heuer Monaco beautiful and we've got the uh the omega speedmaster man on the moon interestingly enough in our chronographs we have got the the daytona 
we have got the Tag Heuer and the Omega. Three very, very iconic chronographs. So I've got to be honest with you. Day Steel Daytona, the Hoya Monica Caliber 11, a Speedmaster. Those three, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the only thing I would possibly add there, another chronograph, would be the Zenith. El Primero, I'd want to get the, the Chrono Master, 1969. I'd probably go, I had the Open Heart. I reckon the Open Heart would be absolutely, because you like a bigger size um, watch. That would be something amazing to have there. What other chronograph? See, those are the most iconic. I think you, you think of your chron well, what are your chronographs? Your Daytona, your Hoya Caliber 11, the Speedy, and the Zenith. The Zenith. That's the only thing I would. And, that, and that's not huge money compared to the rest of your collection. Uh, we've also got. So we've got three chronographs. GMT watches were a little bit light. So if you wanted to add, I would possibly add an Explorer 2. Okay, Polar or black, doesn't matter. I'd possibly add one of those there. I don't think it would hurt to have another GMT because you've got such a beautiful collection. Um, that's, that's my opinion. And in, in the divers, what have we got in divers? Our divers, we have got, we firstly, we've got the, the two-tone Submariner, okay? Yes. Then we've got the, the Steel Sub-Date. Yes. Uh, we've got the Tudor Black Bay. Yeah, that's a diver. So we've got three divers there. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Um, Okie dokie. So that is absolutely... That's, that's a... In my opinion, it's a beautiful collection. I like the fact that you've shown some restraint and the only gold is a bit of yellow gold in the two-tone sub. That's I think that is very classy indeed. Bit of restraint is very, very good there. Um, yeah, so that's to answer you, to this collection here, I think is absolutely beautiful. 12 pieces. To be totally honest with you, it's gorgeous. Would I add more? Would I add more? I don't think you have to. I think you've got more than enough. I think you've got more than enough. As I said there, if you wanted to add, I would keep it steel. I reckon a steel Explorer 2. Black or white Polar. Polar or black doesn't matter. And maybe a Zenith because you've got such beautiful chronographs okay now that collection itself there absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful 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 then if we have a look at the wife's collection what do i think there look i think that is absolutely stunning 31 mil floral yes that pops absolutely pops that's a beautiful watch. Then you've got, for a little bit more elegance, we've got a two-tone with the green dial, with the Roman, with the Diamond 6. Yes, yes, very classy, still understated. And then the the, uh, the Air King 34 mil, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. It just looks like in the photo the crown's not screwed in. Maybe that may need to be looked at by the Rolex Service Centre if it's not screwing in fully. But absolutely beautiful. And as for your daughter, 
what a lucky girl she's got a pink dial 34 mil date it's actually not a date just it's a date yes and she's got an oyster perpetual uh very lucky i normally don't encourage giving high value watches to children i think they've got to earn it themselves there but it's you can see you're quite a generous guy you don't want to be stingy you want to have everybody enjoying their luxury goods which is a good thing now uh i will receive the starbucks and the Pepsi next month from my AD. Wowzers! The Starbucks is the Sermit, the, the Submariner with the green bezel and the Pepsi. Definitely take both. Yes, indeed. Definitely take those. They're amazing. Please let me know what to add and what to get rid of. So the only other thing I said to add was the Explorer 2. Okay, so 42 mil and also a Zenith uh, El Primero Chronomeister. I reckon the open heart like I had would be amazing. Get a discount. That watch has to be bought at a discount. Zenith is not Rolex. It doesn't hold the value the same. You want a hefty discount on the Zenith. Do I need the black sub after the getting the Starbucks? Yes, yes, you do. You do, you do, you do. Look, do you, do you need 12 watches as it is? Of course not. But do I need the black sub after getting the Starbucks? I think with your collection, it's nice to have the variety. I like to see the variety. So would I... Um, would I get rid of um, the 40? No, I'd like to see the 40 mil and the 41 mil sermon. So, no, I, I, I wouldn't really be selling that. No. Do I need three date just? Now, that is a good question. Yeah, that is a very good question indeed. Do you need three? Of course not. You don't need three date just. However, however, what are you going to do then? What are you going to do? You're going to sell them? Um, I, I think myself, I would say, you know what? I, I wouldn't be inclined to sell anything, okay? You're a wealthy guy. Don't sell them. The money you get is coins. It's change, chump change. I don't know where you're located, but I suspect you're in the Middle East somewhere I I wouldn't why could you be why would you be bothered to sell I wouldn't be bothered to sell the date just no I'd keep it enjoy it you love your watches you very clearly love your watches just enjoy them all I I wouldn't sell any do you need to have three no of course not do you need 12 no but I didn't think money was tight with you. I'd just keep it. Don't buy a fourth date just. That's enough date just for you. But no, do I need three? No, but I wouldn't be selling any. Do I need to other brands, other brands, other than Rolex? Good question. Do you need to add other brands? Look, I think the best advice I can give you, don't ever think Rolex is is garbage. It's not. I went down the Patek Philippe route, okay? And I got to be totally honest with you. Guess what? I sold off my Rolex because they're easy to sell and I regret it. I made a big mistake. So, you know what happened? I went into Patek's and Patek's are beautiful, but they're delicate. They're very delicate. You know what? Never, your Rolexes are just so amazing. They make you happy. They are a very good investment. So I got to be totally honest with you. Would I get into other brands? Well, I, I like how you've already got 
you've got the Amiga Speedmaster, you've got the Hoya Calibre 11. I I'd possibly get a Zenith El Primero Chronomeister, because you have this for your chronograph collection. But <coughs> my advice to you, and you've got an AP, you've got an AP as well. I, I don't think, I would stick with Rolex, stick with Rolex. It's durable, it's, it's just... It's just, Rolex is the Mercedes-Benz of watches. No, of course, Bentley or Rolls-Royce is better, but it's just so usable. It's just internationally recognized. Stick with, I, I think myself, if you really wanted a fancy-wancy thing, maybe a Patek Philippe World Time. That would be a white gold one. Maybe would be lovely to have just a super... You know, amazing piece. Because you've already got the AP. I'd probably get, I reckon, a white gold world time. 5230G. Maybe get one of those. But I would not get rid of your Rolex. Your Rolexes make you happy. They are, I, I got rid of my Rolexes because I thought Paddock was so superior. And then I came back and I discovered it was very hard to get Rolex back again. So in all honesty, stick with Rolex. Uh, should you get other brands? Should you add other brands? I think you've done that already. I wouldn't necessarily add many other brands because they're nowhere near as... The Rolexes are amazing as far as collectability, desirability, and the retention of value. Maybe one Patek, if you really wanted something, you know, out of this world, I would add a Patek or a Lange. But you don't have to add any other brands. Uh, so i got to be totally honest with you there. Um, if I were you, don't sell things, okay? Selling things, who are you going to sell it to? A dealer is going to give you crappy prices. In the Middle East, they're nasty. Unless unless you are a salesman and you know how to buy and sell, it's very hard to get top whack. And, and just keep it. You, you know what I mean? You don't strike me as being poor. I would keep and enjoy what you've got. That's honestly the best advice I can give you is to keep and enjoy what you have because... It's amazing, and it makes you happy. And at the end of the day, it's happiness is the reason why we buy these things. We want to be happy. And they're, they're amazing. You've got some amazing pieces. You've got some really, really amazing pieces. And I would just be... Um, I, I would basically, um, I would just enjoy what you have. That is what I would say to you. Enjoy what you have. Exactly right. I would enjoy what you have. Enjoy it. Love them. Um, that's, that's the most important. So enjoy what you have. Um, love them, cherish them, worship them. They are amazing. They're amazing to have. You've got some really amazing pieces. And this is what life is all about. Having beautiful things, cherish them. And hey, I, I don't think you need to add terribly much. But I definitely wouldn't be selling things unless you really need the money. But I would be just just enjoying them. You probably don't need after you get these other pieces. Oops, I forgot to add. He also got another piece. He got another piece in, which was he got another piece in, which was a tuner. He got a tuner in. He got a tuner. He got a tuner black bay blue. And I got to say, yeah, absolutely. Nothing wrong with adding a Tudor Black Bay with the... That's absolutely beautiful. The blue bezel. That's a gorgeous watch. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I, I must admit, I got a soft spot. 
I mean, it's funny, you know, you've got an amazing collection and you added the Tudor. I feel the same way. I recently added a Tudor Burgundy, 41 mil Black Bay Burgundy. And yeah, I, I got a sub. I, I didn't have to have it, but it's just, it's good value. And I love it. I love it. These watches, they make me really, really happy. So my advice to you, enjoy them, love them. Just just be happy, man. I completely understand why you added that Tudor. The Tudor is a great watch. There's nothing wrong with Tudors. The Tudors are great watches to have. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's... That is a beautiful collection. I, I I wouldn't be selling. I don't think it's... Do you need three Datejust? Of course not. Nobody needs three Datejust. But do we need do we need 12 watches, you know, for yourself? You know, we don't. We don't need any of this stuff. You know, one would be enough. But if they make us happy and we love them, just, just enjoy them. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Okay, guys, that's a review for MS... Fan, thank you so much. This really, you've been really generous with the donations to me. Um, and I, I appreciate it. I really, really do appreciate it. So, guys, I will see you in the next one. Guys, remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I can't survive solely on Google Ads. I really do need these paid reviews to keep me on YouTube. Without these paid reviews, it's very hard for me to survive. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys. Amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.